mail, folks. Please don't hurt me. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Okay there, Arthur? I think so. Good morning, Arthur. Okay there, Dutch. Warm, dry, and nobody's shooting at me. A marked improvement. Indeed. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Ow! Oh, oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us, too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are gonna love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Aside from smelling funny. <laughs>
Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, you pulse of old blizzard. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you and I hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow in the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Chairs always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Spark up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What do you say? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. 
A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking to... Well, some free advice. Get your hands Watch off her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? What are you doing here? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go oh, wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Took a big loss on the river. Can I help you, sir? Damn. Trying to help people. I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? You looking for a room? No trouble now, please! Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? I'm sorry. Wrong room. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Oh, you uh, done that. I paid. Uh, 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 what the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and... But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Okay There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Just borrowing it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! We need to talk, pal! Please, do something! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no! I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? 
I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. My hands are slipping. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, Are you about pal? to kiss that guy Take or it punch easy, him? Huh?
Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business <laughs> is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on.
Come on, girl. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without the Christmas lights on. That's it. Off your front. Yeah. Hello.
Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. How are you holding up? Not very well. well. I'm sorry. It'll get better eventually. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. What you want? Oh, man, you want a sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. Oh, only when I see you. <laughs> uh. Ain't nothing personal. Sure seems that way to me. Well, you know what? It probably is. Okay, Abigail. Settling in. Good. Put in a good word, would you? You got some speaking to do of your own. About that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the, uh, Cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Oh shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to cold? That's what he says. Come on. 
I'm taking you to him. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll lead. Well, come on then. Shared saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Ah. How are you holding up, John? Hey. Watch it. Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. Damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so, but I fear you don't know how to help anyone, except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll, if this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us, then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. Arthur, look out. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. 
Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Get out! Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. They're just over the ridge. Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Cormo Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer. You want me to take him? The old man loses it. I won't get another chance in ages. I'll be for the next two. What's the plan? Now we got a real fight! Come on! It's off! We move! Quick! No! Run away from me! We caught him on the train! It's Fingerlin's boy!
Tim! Leave him! Calm's still here. Hey, he said Calm be in cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Give me some of that Irish gold. What you got, O'Driscoll? The boy said Calm would be in the cabin. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
Arthur, hello. Yes. Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well. Feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Hey! <laughs> yep. I 
I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike has got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So, you were saying? So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Here we are. Just one or two, right off Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> That's great, Martin. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? You know which way my friend went? Wouldn't know. You seen that feather I was with? Sorry, can't help. Get 
talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Stop thumping off on me! What? Hi, Lenny! Arthur, Arthur what are you doing? Friend of me, Arthur. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again. Again. Damn folk, don't leave me the hell alone.
Tavern, where are you? Swanson! Come on. What? Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat. Friend, I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy look kind of crazy, mister. What are you doing? Hey! Oh, hell. The hey. Hell did you just Get make? your hands you off him. Say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. You're going down! Come on! What you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! This place and what's to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist 
Get your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Help me or we're both dead! You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... I was wondering when he'd show up. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky. This time. Real lucky. Arthur. Great 
shame about them calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> How good, Mr. Morgan? That ain't nothing. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fight. That's why they float. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> sure. That ain't nothing. I once beat up 20. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna miss Matt. He was a good man. Hey, Arthur. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big... Loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I. Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like... Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Just feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. There, boy. I'll sleep well tonight. Yeah, good boy.
Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going out to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Partner, you got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fellow well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants... Put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. 
We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Damn, Micah. We send him out scouting, and he ends up in the jailhouse. Just lucky Lenny was with him. First time out of hiding his wanted man, and he gets tangled up with the law. To be fair, Arthur, trouble has a habit of finding you, too. Yeah, but we run with our code, always have. That don't mean nothing to him. Perhaps, but nothing's how it was right now. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 cal... ...lubber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Go on, then. I thought you said you were famished. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that.
All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the... Mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, grab your stuff and let's go. Okay, let's go. Boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. <laughs> look for tracks. Dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. The tracks go into those trees. friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else. 
else on the ground? Just here? There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Looks a way off. Okay. Where are you?
Boxing through here like you own the place. But the Abrisco's got design. Morning, friend. Welcome. Not to worry, you will be back. I'll just go home. Hey there. Don't work too hard there. I'll lay off. Some folks think if a man's a good shot, he's a good hunter. Ain't so simple. You can't find him, you can't shoot him. Best tracker I ever knew could trail a butterfly across an ice sheet.
Yeah? Huh. How you... What? Listen. We're gonna be okay. If you say so. What about the money? Back at Blackwater. Now is not the time for doubters. I ain't a doubter nor a believer. I ain't nothing. So you keep saying. Next time, Arthur. Try faith. Hi there, hey, Arthur. Dandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me Mr. yet. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan. Hi there, Arthur. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. No, oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Ah, I don't know. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Blown in. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Well, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be so safe Arthur, here. When I was in Valentine, <laughs> nosing about, I now. think I found something interesting. Back on your feet properly. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Thank you. Something about the doctor's office. 
There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. You all right? Fantastic. Hello, Arthur. Swanson. You're free to sit, but I'm in a state. Howdy, fellas. Hello.
What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. Well, this don't look good for you. Ugh. Please, just help me, mister. I'm trapped here. Why aren't you helping? I'll see what I can do. Oh, yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well... You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Are you sure this is the best way? Why'd you stop? Why'd you dismount? Let's go.
Why is it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Now I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll yeah. get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just walk away, Don't partner. Don't make this difficult. Okay, I'm gonna beat the Don Tar out of you. It ain't even worth it. Just go. Ain't my concern, no, sir. Hold it right there.
Not bad, boy. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You gotta get me out of here! Get me out of here! I got a wife and kids! Shut up and keep still! I never brought a yep. thing in all my life! Come on! Get this off you. While we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Hello. Very amusing. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, I think so. Good. We really needed this. Well, you're gonna get a beating so hard, you'll be lucky to even see tomorrow. You're right. Sam nearly killed me. But it taught me not to watch women in the outhouse and get caught. I know supplies are low. Don't worry about nothing other than that which is. There should be some real good eating. Good job, Mr. Morgan.
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Got Lily Millet's debt. Made some bad decisions in her life. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. In a field, someplace, my mamas were in Lincolnshire, my daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot in the move. We'll be back on our feet soon. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Hello, Lenny. Hello, it's you. Always good to see you. Hey, get up. What's going on? Dad, 
Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. Good morning. The preacher, I remember. Soon, please. Yeah, yeah. 